Today we are integrating the fight against air pollution with the fight against climate change. We are establishing real targets, deadlines, and enforcements to address air, uh, to address air pollution in the most burdened communities. This is a, a significant down payment towards ensuring all Californians get their piece of their environmental justice. For generations, communities like mine have been treated like wastelands, and constituents in my backyard and a lot of yours have backyards have been treated like they're disposable. Today we change that. Today we begin to uh, right those wrongs. Specifically, AB 617 contains the following. Air pollution penalty enhancements to protect against major incidents and general indexing of air pollution penalties to the CPI that will straighten penalties annually. These limits have not been increased in all my life. Uh, and before since 1975. New provisions requiring enhanced community monitoring on a statewide basis to document the cumulative impacts in the most polluted disadvantaged neighborhoods. This bill also requires the development of both the statewide strategy and local community emission reduction plans to clean up hotspots and toxic and criteria pollutants. In addition to addressing hotspots, these plans will help accelerate the transition to zero and low carbon mobility. AB 617 also expedites a retrofit of pollution control uh, equipment at large industrial facilities. There has been a lot of opposition out there about whether or not this bill goes far enough. This bill is a great down payment and carves the way for the work we have to do ahead. For those who have been in opposition or feel that this is not strong enough, I give you two uh, messages. The first one is that we've never done anything on air quality like this before. This is something that's new in California and a model for the rest of the nation. And while it's not complete, you have my commitment and the commitment of others in leadership that this is just a down payment and we're carving the pathway to, towards ensuring that we're dealing with both stationary sources and mobile sources. This is personal to me. Not only do I live in these communities, there's mornings that I wake up and I have to think to myself, what's healthier, staying indoors or going outside and going for a run? Because those are the trade-offs I have to make. It's personal when my neighbors like Maria can't go to work because she has to take her kids to the hospital on a regular basis because they have asthma. It's personal when I have uh, folks who can't go to work because they have to make sure their kids are taken care of and are also because uh, they're sick because of the air pollution around them. I have neighbors like Rocio who grows her own fruit and she's been told not to eat that fruit anymore, not to give it to her grandkids anymore, because the, the level around of toxics in the soil are so bad. But she tells me that she can't afford anything else, and if it's not those fruits, she gets no fiber, no fruits in her diet. And so knowing that she needs fruits, she's constantly making that choice of, do I have these fruits, or do I just leave them there because of the toxics around them? And so it's time that we tell these Californians that they also matter, that we're no longer going to leave them behind. And so I urge you, to vote aye on 617, and I urge you to join me in continuing to ensure that in the years ahead, we continue to build on the work, the, work, the good work that we have today. With that, I respectfully ask for an aye vote.